The first step of winding a bobbin on the ultra feed is to disengage the clutch. To do this, pull the posi pin safety shear out of the balance wheel. The balance wheel will now rotate without operating the machine. You can push the pin into the hole at the center of the posi pin nut to store it. The next step is to locate and remove the bobbin case. The bobbin case is located on the underside of the machine beneath the presser foot. You will need to tilt your machine back to access it. To remove the bobbin case, lift the spring-loaded lever and pull the bobbin case out. With the lever held open, the bobbin is held captive in the bobbin case. Release the lever and the bobbin will fall out. With the bobbin removed from its case, you are ready to thread your machine for winding a new bobbin. Start by placing an empty bobbin on the bobbin winder, which is located on the top right of your machine. If you are using a cone of thread, the thread will run through the top of the thread stand, through the most direct hole of the spool pin. Then it's going to go around the tensioner in a clockwise motion and then under the metal curl. Pull the thread across the top of the machine and under the thread from the spool pin and cone. Lastly, you will run the thread under and up through a hole in the top of the bobbin, making sure to leave roughly a six inch tail. If you're using a spool of thread, place the spool on the spool pin with the thread spinning clockwise. Then follow the same threading path as the cone, making sure to run the thread from the metal curl under the thread from the spool pin and then to the bobbin. With the thread through the hole in the bobbin, keep a hold of the thread and push the bobbin to the right. While continuing to hold the tail of the thread, power the machine using the foot pedal. After several rotations, cut the thread tail off flush with the top edge of the bobbin. Then you can continue winding until the bobbin is full. If you notice that the bobbin is filling unevenly, you can adjust the position of the tensioner to even this out. There is a screw located underneath the tensioner that can be loosened to raise, lower, and tilt to your desired position. Once the tensioner is in a place that will evenly fill your bobbin, you can tighten the screw to lock it in place. Then continue winding the bobbin. For faster bobbin winding, turn the worker bee speed control all the way up. When the bobbin is full, it will stop spinning. You will want the bobbin to stop when the thread is 1 16th inch away from the edge. Overwinding your bobbin will cause a bind in the bobbin case. To adjust how much fill you achieve on the bobbin, you can loosen the screw located on top of the stop to adjust the distance from the bobbin. Moving the largest part of the lobe toward the bobbin will reduce the amount of thread on the bobbin. Once the distance is right, tighten the screw to set it in place. Now with a full bobbin, you are ready to reinstall it in its case. The tail of the thread should be going around the right side of the bobbin to install it in its bobbin case. Another way to remember this is that the bobbin and thread tail should make a number nine. Once the bobbin is facing the correct direction, you can slide it into its case. The thread tail will go through the slit in the edge of the case. Continue pulling the thread under the tension plate and then snap the thread into position under that tension plate and pull about 12 to 18 inches of thread to check for consistent tension. If you've installed the bobbin correctly, then when you pull on the thread, while looking at the case with the bobbin facing you, the bobbin should spin clockwise. To install the case back into place, pull and hold the spring-loaded lever outward to keep the bobbin from falling out and then push the case onto the axle of the gip hook. The finger of the bobbin case should fit into the retaining rings notch. Once in place, release the lever and the bobbin will be held in place. Once the bobbin is secured in place, tilt the machine back into position.